Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Typing a new note into OneNote is just one option for getting content into a OneNote notebook. Existing content from other sources, such as the web or Microsoft Word or Excel, can be copied or cut and then pasted into your notebook. You will have some different paste options that we'll examine as well. First, select any content that you want to copy into OneNote. For example, in a Microsoft Word document, you can use any of the available options to select the specific text you want to copy. You can click and drag to select specific content, press Ctrl plus A on your keyboard to select all of the document content or so forth, and then you can copy it by using the keyboard shortcut of Ctrl plus C. Alternatively, once you have the text selected, you can simply click the Copy button on the Home tab within the ribbon. Then, in the OneNote application, choose the notebook page or create a notebook page into which you want to paste the content and then click the Home tab in the ribbon. If you simply click the Paste button in the ribbon or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus V which will paste the content, you will accept the default paste option. You can see the default paste option by selecting the Paste Options drop-down which is the small downward pointing arrow underneath the Paste button. The current default will be listed as the first paste option, but you can choose from any of the available paste options by giving the corresponding button a click. If you hover your mouse pointer over these options, a screen tip will be shown telling you the type of paste option. The first, Keep Source Formatting, will paste the contents into the note and retain all of the text formatting from the source document. Merge Formatting will combine the formatting from the source document and the page into which you are pasting the note contents. Keep Text Only will retain the text only and strip out any formatting from the source document. Finally, you can often select Picture, which will save the content as an image. Keep in mind that if you do select this option, you will not be able to edit the content later. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.